They like to go back and say, I wish I could have done it sooner. How many's ever had that thought, praise God? We, we, we just wish it could have been years earlier than what it was. But you know, God has reasons for things. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes I think, well, Lord, I wish I could have, when I was a baby, just grew right up and started serving you. But you know, praise God, I thank God for all the experiences in life that I've been through that God used those things to point me to Him. Amen. You know, I, I've had people tell me, you know, in the last four years of my life, you know, it has been four of the most powerful years I've ever experienced in my whole, praise God, 18-year walk with Christ. Come on. I gave my life to Jesus, amen to God, April 29th, 1993. Some of y'all know that, praise God, but I'm saying that to get to a point. You know, the last four years has shown me, praise God, that there's nothing more that I need than Jesus. Yes. I don't need, praise God, fame. I don't need clothes. I, well, I mean, I need clothes, don't get me wrong, but I mean, like, you know, <laughs> now, let, me, let, me, let me correct that, praise God, because somebody will write me saying I'm saying nudism's okay. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't need name brand fancy stuff. There you go. There you go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a quick save there. I don't need... <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm liable to say anything, praise God. So. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't need, praise God, a fancy title. I don't need a big home. Come on. I just need and want Jesus. Amen. And that's all I need. I tell my wife at times, Laura, she's not here tonight. We had to do the in-bypass text message thing. I'll see you later, love you, thing tonight. But you know, I told her, I said, if we don't have anything else, as long as we've got Jesus, Come on. Amen. we're all right. Amen. 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 Praise God. As long as we've got Jesus, that's all right. You say, well, Brother Mike, that's easy to say. I tell you, but when you rely on Him 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, like I do and like you do, I'm sure, praise God. He's our everything. Yes. And you don't Amen. want nothing else. You don't want nobody Amen. else but Jesus. Come on. How can we want anything better than the best? Come on. Amen. I mean, you can't substitute the best. Amen, God, for nothing else. Amen. And I'm telling you tonight, Jesus is the best. Yes, he is. Yeah. Jesus is the final answer. Come on. Hallelujah Amen. to God. Jesus is a okay with me, praise God. Amen. I tell you, I, I'm going to pull a, a little term from the the, the, gen, the youth generation. Jesus is hit, amen, to God with me, praise God, because I love him. He's my everything. Come on. He's the breath I breathe, praise God. When I'm lonely, He comforts me. Hallelujah, yeah, God, praise God. When I'm sick in body, He heals me. Amen. Yeah. When I don't know what to do, He gives me direction through His Word. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. When I want to have a good time, He gives me new wine. Oh, glory to God. Somebody ought to shout somebody. Yeah. When I want to get drunk in the Spirit, He gives me some new wine. Amen, yeah. God. Amen. And I can dance a little bit and shout, praise God, and rejoice for the King. Come on. See, the world tells me I'm missing out on a lot. They're missing out on what I've got. Amen, Come on. God. Because what I've got is a whole lot better than Amen. what they've got. Woo! Glory to God. See, God promises benefits, praise God, if we serve Him. But we've got to work too. Amen. Come on. And we've got a, 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 a job to do. Amen. So tonight my message is going to be for the believers. Bro, I was going to minister this message last week. But the enemy didn't want me to. That's why he caused the delay. They know if I'm not here, praise God, by at least 10 after, something wrong. Amen to God. I know I called Brother Billy and called Rodney, text Billy, text Rodney. I knew they weren't going to you know, answer back because they were in service. But praise God, I had to let them know, amen to God. Amen. So I'm here tonight and I'm going to deliver. I, all week I said, Lord, he won't preach anything else. And this kept staying on my heart. So I'm assuming this is what he wants me to bring forth. Amen. So this message is centered tonight. Towards us, the believers, amen to God. Because I tell you, we read that scripture in Matthew where the harvest is great, yeah. but the laborers are few. Amen. And, and as of late, that has taken a deep meaning with me because, you know, there is so much to do for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Yes. But getting folks to stand up with the boldness they need, which is, you get that from the Holy Ghost. To do that is impossible anymore just to find somebody who's willing to be called of God. That's right. Amen. Who's willing to stand up 
Amen to God. And not worry about if people make fun of you because you're a believer. Come on. I mean, praise God. We can't be ashamed of Jesus. The Bible says if we're ashamed of Him, that He'll be ashamed of us. Amen. See, I'm telling you, He'll be ashamed of us. You don't want to stand before Him one day and He'll be saying, I don't know you. Come on. I don't know you. I don't know how it's going to be in that day, but if you could use your carnal mind for a minute and just think, how many has ever been rejected or somebody's ever humiliated you? Come it on. made you feel bad, praise God. Hallelujah to God. You don't want to stand before the King of Kings and Him say, I never knew you. Come on. That's right. Depart from me. Amen. Ye that worketh iniquity. Yeah. I never knew you. Come on. I don't want to be, I don't want to stand before Him one day. Brother Chris, with blood on my hand. That's why I want to preach every, praise God, time the doors open. Come on. Because, praise God, there's something burning in me, praise God. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. That, praise God, I can't get settled until I preach everything that God has put in me out. I don't want to be settled. I don't want to be complacent. I don't want to be comfortable. Amen. Come on, That's good. I told Lori. She said, do you ever get tired? Yes, I do physically. I get worn out. But it's worth it to see one soul receive Christ. Amen. Amen. Brother Billy, you know, praise God, what I'm talking about. It is so worth it to labor and labor for Jesus, amen, to God. And when that one soul accepts Jesus truly, it's worth it all. Amen. Because they have been, praise God, they have found the answer to their problem. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, they can be set free from the bondage and the curse praise. of sin that has kept them bound all these years. So if you have your King James Version Bible tonight, praise God, the only version we like to use, amen to God, amen. go with me to the Old Testament book of Nehemiah tonight. And this is a familiar passage of Scripture, praise God. Y'all have heard it, I'm sure, thousands of times, amen to God. I'm not going to try to preach a masterpiece. I'm going to preach what the Holy Ghost has led me to Thank preach. You, Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. I'm going to be a mouthpiece, amen to God, an instrument in the hand of God. Hallelujah. Because it's no longer Mike Hessler no more. I died out on April 29th, and Jesus Christ took over this old vessel, amen to God. Oh. Hallelujah. I tell people this, I'm possessed with the Holy Ghost, amen to God. Oh. Hallelujah. I'm a, I'm, a vet, I'm a dead man walking, praise oh. God. But I don't stink, amen to God. I'm not rotten, amen to God, because i got Jesus flowing through. Through me, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't need no formaldehyde. Praise God. I got the Holy Ghost in me. Praise yeah. God. Glory. Because we are the temple of Hallelujah. the Holy Ghost. Amen to God. Amen. So if you're born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, praise God, you should be, amen to God, producing out sweet smelling saviors unto the Lord. Amen, amen. to God. Amen. Glory. Glory. Somebody Glory. say hallelujah. 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 Thank God. Nehemiah chapter 6, if you have it. And if you don't mind, if you're able to stand for the reading of God's Word, praise God. If you're not, that's okay, praise God. I understand. Hallelujah, the Lord does too. Sometimes our physical bodies don't want to get up as quick as they used to. We're getting older and there's nothing wrong with that. Amen? Well, Hallelujah. Amen. But I heard somebody say one time, with age comes wisdom. Amen to God. Sometimes it's good just to sit there, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 6, beginning in verse 1. And the Bible declares, Now it came to pass when Samballot and Tobiah and Geshem, the Arabian, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left therein, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates, that Samballot and Geshem sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me mischief. Boy, I tell you, the devil's nice. got a plan to try to take us out, amen, amen to God. Amen. And he's got workers out there to try to take you out, amen to God. People, people assigned to do mischief and bring heartache in your life, amen. 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 Verse 3, and he said, I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work, so that I cannot come down. So why should the work cease? Glory to God. Somebody amen. say, why should the work cease? Yeah. Amen, amen to God. Amen. While I leave the city and come down to you. Yet they sent unto me four times after this sword, and I answered them after the same manner. The devil's persistent, amen? Yeah. He don't want to give up. Hallelujah. Yeah, amen. I'll give him that much credit. He is persistent. Yes. Praise God, but that's where we got to go a step further. Amen to God. Amen. That's right. Then sent Samballot and his servant unto me in the like manner the fifth time with an open letter in his hand. Wherein was it written, 
It's reported among the heathen, and Gashmiel saith it, that thou and the Jews think to rebel. For which cause thou buildest a wall, that thou mayest be their king according to these words? And thou hast also appointed prophets to preach of thee at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, and now shall it be reported to the king according to these words, Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. Verse number 8. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then I sent unto him, saying, There are no such things done as thou sayest. See, I want to show you the devil is a liar. Amen. Boy, the devil likes to pump up things, praise God, get stuff going, make it look good, amen to God. But no such things are taking place, amen to God. Amen. He said, There's no such things done as thou sayest, but thou faintest them out of thy own heart. For they were all made afraid, saying, Their hands shall be weakened for the work, that it be not done. Now therefore, O oh God, strengthen my hands. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know he's looking for a raiment today to say, Lord, strengthen our hands. Amen to God. Lord, hallelujah, the work has got to keep going. We're getting tired. The devil's attacking us from left and right. We need some Nehemiahs in the church today. Lord, we need our hands strengthened. Amen to God. We need strength in our hands. We need strength. Praise God. Hallelujah. We need faith. Amen to God. To be a Christian. You said, Brother Mike, where do I get faith? Faith cometh by Hearing yeah, and hearing by what? The by the word of God. Hello. What? The yes, word of God. Word. What you say? The, the word, word of God. God. Amen to God. Faith coming by so if faith comes by hearing, don't you think you need to be hearing the word of God? Amen. 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 To build your Amen. faith yes. to overcome the devil? Come on. Amen. Strengthen Amen. our hands. Well, I want to use for a subject tonight. What verse number four? Uh, uh, no, what verse number three said? When Nehemiah said, Why should the work cease? Oh. Why should the work cease? Amen to God. That's my question to you, praise God. It's the title of my message. Why should the work cease? When the devil's fighting you, hitting you left and right, why does the work of God need to stop? Because he's fighting us. Come on. You know, in the military, praise God. Thank God for our soldiers, amen to God who yeah. fight over there, praise God, who fight for our freedom, that we can have freedom naturally in this country, praise God. Thank God for that. Yeah. Come on. Just because one soldier may get injured, they can't just stop and quit. they got to keep on going. they got to keep on defending, amen to God. Yes, they take care and nurture that soldier. They get him off the battlefield and take him to the infirmary where they tend to his medical needs. But the battle still goes on. Amen. Glory yeah. to God. See, God is looking for a few good men and women yes. who is full of faith, amen, yes. to God, who's not afraid to say, Lord, yes. use me. Come on. Lord, I'm going to take a step out. Use me. I'm going to step out in my city. Use me, praise God. I'm going to step out in my neighborhood. Come use on. me, Lord. Strengthen my hands. Increase amen. my faith. Lord, I'm going to take a step out in my workplace. Amen to God. I'm going to take a step out at the family reunion. Praise God. Because they don't know I'm a believer. But Lord, I love you. But praise God. I need to take a step out. Praise God. And tell them about you, Jesus. Yes. God is looking for a few good men and women. Amen to God. So why should the work cease? Father, we come before you now. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that faith increases and doubt decreases, Lord. Thank you for what you did at the cross, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood, hallelujah, that washes our sins away. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for, hallelujah, filling us with the Holy Ghost, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The precious Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah. The power from up on high. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you. I pray, Lord, that I would hide, be hidden behind the cross tonight. Bless. Hallelujah. May I decrease as you increase tonight. Let your word not return void, but let it minister to those oh, under the sound God. of my voice here tonight. And voice of the Lord through Facebook, through YouTube, through whatever avenue, Lord God. Lord God, help us to see we need to stand up and live for you and take your message out to the lost, dying world. Use us, Lord. Forgive us where we failed you in Jesus' name. And everybody say it with me. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Praise God. I want everybody, praise God, I do this every time, but this is something the Lord has laid on my heart. I want everybody to get up and go hug somebody and tell them you love them. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Praise God. If, if you're mad at your neighbor two rows back, go make it right. Amen. <laughs> Even hug the person if they got perfume on. It may be allowed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I heard somebody say they retired. Praise God. We get worn down, but praise God, He's good. Love you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't it feel good to go hug your brothers and sisters in the Lord? I tell you, because these same people you're hugging here that are believers, you're going to be with them, praise God, when we see each other on the other side. When Jesus, praise God, when, when that trumpet sounds and the Lord comes back. Come on. These are the same folks that's going to be flying away with you, amen? Amen. So you better learn to love them, because praise God, if, hallelujah, you say you love Jesus, but the love... For your brother and sisters out there, there's something wrong. Right. I'm all, How can you say you love him and you've never seen him, praise God, but you hate your brother and sister down here? I'm all, That's why I always say, praise God, let's make things right. Don't go to bed, praise God, mad or angry at one another, amen to God. All, Hallelujah. Right. Go to bed laying down in peace, amen to God. Tell each other, amen to God, you love them. Or text them good night, praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. I thank God for text messages. Boy, you can reach people out there, amen. How my, my natural sister, she don't like to talk on the phone. She likes to text message. Hallelujah. So sometimes I think I'm wondering. I never, I don't even remember what her voice sounds like. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But she does text me back. It may be at 2.30 in the morning, praise God, but she'll text me back. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then, of course, the wife gets mad about that. You woke me up. <laughs> Lord, y'all pray for me. I need to turn that on. Vibrate or something. Hallelujah. But then, that, that's my alarm to wake me up in the morning, though. So, amen to God. Hallelujah. I made a voice recording of me. Amen to God screaming. So that's why I wake up to in the morning. <laughs> Can you imagine what Lori thinks? <laughs> She's not none too pleased. <laughs> amen. I told her I got to make sure I get up, though. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why should the work cease? Amen to God. And that, that, is, that is just so true tonight. Why do we need to let it stop? Because we get attacked by the enemy. And I know attacks are hard, praise God. I'm not, I'm not making light of no, nobody's trials or tribulations. I'm not doing that. Because I'll tell you, I have my own, just like everybody in here does. Yes. But also, we've got to know that there's something, there's a greater work that has to be done. I heard Sister Mary uh, say tonight, she was talking about greater works will we do. Come on. Jesus said that, amen to God. Yes, yes, it is. So if we're going to do these greater works, we've got to stand up, praise God, and say, Lord, here I am. Come on. Yes, praise God. Are. I'm ready to go on the battlefield to fight. Amen. Praise God. I'm ready to fight the kingdom yes. of darkness. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus said in Matthew 16, 24, Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Come on. That's, he didn't promise. Now, you notice in that verse, he didn't promise you it would be easy. That's right. He said, deny yourself. Denying yourself is so hard. Denying your flesh. Denying what the flesh wants to do. Sometimes our flesh, when we get down to pray, praise God, it wants to go to sleep. Sometimes when we read the Word, we tend to wander off in our minds to other things. Yes. Praise God. we got to deny ourselves. we got to deny, praise God, the things, praise God, that we put before God. We need to turn the television off, praise God, Amen. and get back into reading the Word. Amen. Right. Yeah. We need to, praise God, cut the cell phones off. Oh. And get back into talking to Jesus. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody Amen. said, well, hallelujah, I get email. Well, praise God, you need to reverse that and do knee mail. Praise Come God. On. Get down on your knees before Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's an old saying, praise God, but I wrote it down. I thought it, 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 it's good. It does say, it. amen to God, we do need an email. Come amen on. to God. We need to, praise God, quit worrying about what sister so-and-so is gossiping about. Because if you get into that, you're just guilty as they are. Amen to God. Amen. And we need to go in and hear what Jesus is talking about. Come Amen. On. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell the people this one time, and somebody got mad at me for saying it, but if you want to gossip, if you just feel the need to gossip, talk to Jesus. Come on. Amen. Gossip to Jesus about what you would tell somebody else. Yeah. 
Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. You, if you're going to talk about it, tell Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. That's the best person to tell. He won't run around and slander you. Amen. Praise God. He won't Amen. hold it over your head. Amen. Come to on. God. He won't. Amen. To God, put it on Facebook. Amen. To God, Come for on. the world to see. Amen. Amen. To God, Amen. He will. Amen. To God, hear your prayers and He will deal them accordingly. Amen. Amen. Come on. So talk to Jesus. Pray without ceasing. The Bible says. Amen. Amen. We've got people today, they claim to be followers of Jesus. Come on, brother. But they're not believers, amen to God. Come on. And we've got vice versa. They're believers, but they're not followers, amen. Come on. Being a believer doesn't mean you're a follower of Him, amen. amen. It's just not enough to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You've got to make Him Lord of your life. Come on. Lord over everything, praise God. You've got to let Him have... 100% control of your life. That's right. It's not about you or me anymore. It's all about Him. Amen. I get so tired, praise God, of preachers, praise God, who get so pumped up in self that they make it all about them. Come on. When they go preach. I was in a church here a year or so back. Hallelujah, there was a revival going on. And I, I would hear these women talking, talking about, man, just how great their pastor was, how wonderful he is. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. Man, you think he was better than chocolate cake, amen to God. Oh. I mean, you think he was all that and then some in a bag of, uh, praise God, raisins with peanut butter on it, amen to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I love peanut butter and raisins, praise God. That's something to me, hallelujah. But, man, we've got to stop both of them. Pumping up preachers and pumping up singers, Come amen on. to God. We've got to stop that. And we've got to pump up and lift up Jesus. Yeah, amen. Right. Amen to God. He says if you lift him up, oh, he'll send the glory on down. Amen. I mean, I'm getting so tired, praise God, of us having to go to seminars, praise God. Us having to buy special tapes or something. Come on. Buying CDs or tapes or books, praise God, to help you grow, amen to God. As long as that's your second tool, amen to God. And your first one should be the Word of God. Praise oh, God. Like Him lifting that up back there. At King James Bible, amen to God. Amen. And there's nothing wrong, praise God, with reading and studying from the King James. 1611, amen to God. Amen. amen. But I'm so tired of it today. Everybody will spend all their money going to hear Joel. Come on. I know I'm on this with Joel. He's got that new book out. Hallelujah. He says every day should be Friday. Come Why? On. For the world, Friday means you go drink. You get party happy, amen to God. You go out and you live like a devil. Then you go to Sunday morning, amen to God, and you sit there to try to appease that old conscience, amen to God, where you was out honky-talking on Friday and Saturday night saying boot scoot and boogie. Come on. Praise God, but you go in there singing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Oh, you try to let that soothe your conscience, but amen to God, you need to hear the voice of the Lord. You need to hear the voice of Jesus. Where it says, my sheep know my voice. Amen to God. Because if you ain't hearing the voice of God, the voice of God will be telling you, stay away from that garbage. Yeah, man. Praise God. Go home to your wife. Go home to your husband. Go home to your children. Amen. Praise God. Somebody shout though. Hallelujah. Why should the work cease? Amen to God. Why should preachers, praise God, stop preaching, praise God, for amen to God, stage performances. Come on. I'm so tired that, amen to God. Amen. It bothers amen. me to all get out. Merciful Jesus. We got to be committed, amen to God. That's the element here is being committed to Jesus, amen? Amen. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Amen? Amen. In everything you do, praise God. When you walk, walk for Jesus, amen to God. Oh. When you talk, talk for Jesus, amen? Yes, Lord. I was listening to a, ta a CD on the way down here. Hallelujah to God. It was on uh, 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 Smith Wigglesworth. I tell you, I've been, I've been reading over <coughs> just different things about this man's life. I tell you, it's a blessing to me. Praise God. What God can do with people. Praise He was uneducated. Yeah. Uneducated plumber. At, I believe it was 44 years old when he found Christ. Amen to God. 44. Most people will say, well, life's over with. Praise God. That's when God started. Sister Mary said, praise God. What would you say earlier? 73 or something? Amen. Praise God. And God is a hallelujah to God using her now. God don't see a number. Praise God. He sees a willing heart. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Smith Wigglesworth, amen to God. 
this this dear brother that knew him, he said, "Praise God, Brother Wigglesworth was invited to a a, a place to preach." Amen to God. And they put him up in a hotel. And back then, they said that the restaurants in the hotel was like the main place to go eat. Said the pastor in the church that was in there was about two hundred of them. They all got their food and sat down. And, and Brother Wigglesworth was telling the, the pastor, he said, uh, he said, isn't anybody going to pray? He said, well, you know, we, we just don't want to offend nobody. The guy said Brother Wigglesworth stood up on the chair, held a glass with water in it, and took a pencil and said, ding, 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 ding. Got their attention. And he said, well, he said, since nobody in here is going to pray, over the food that God has given you. He said, y'all act like a bunch of hogs, amen to God, because all hogs do is when they see food, they go eat it. Come on. He said, since y'all act like a bunch of hogs, I'm going to pray over it for you. Go over to God. Can you imagine somebody standing up in a modern church today and saying you act like a bunch of hogs, praise Come God, on. before you pray over your food, amen? And so he went forth and said, Father, Bless the food, praise God. Let it strengthen our bodies. And forgive us, Lord, where we've not thanked you for what you've provided us with. And it said, he said, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. See, I'm telling you tonight, it's the little things. And everything you do, you need to do it unto the Lord. Amen. Praise God. It don't matter, praise God, if people watch you, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care who watches me. When we go somewhere to eat... We pray before we amen. eat as a family. Amen. We hold hands together, praise oh. God, and we pray, amen, to God. Praise I don't God. care what people say. I don't care. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please Jesus. Come on. Praise but everything God. I do, let it be done as unto the Lord. Amen. Praise, praise God. God. When you go to work, praise God. Live, praise God. Live out loud your testimony. Let people, let your co-workers see Jesus in you. Yes. When they're telling dirty jokes, Tell them about Jesus. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah to God. That'll stop a dirty joke in a heartbeat. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I work in construction. And I tell you, I work with some rough people, some foul mouthed people, praise God, if you will. But praise God, I'll start hearing that from them. And I'll go back there and say, Bringing in the sheaves. And I'm like, Bringing in the sheaves. We're going to come rejoicing. Bring it in the sheaves. And what I like to do, I like to go up by them and I say, We're bringing in the sheaves. Amen. In Jesus' name. And they're like, Get away from me. You scare me a little bit. I say, How many people are glad, amen to God, that Jesus is alive and well? Come on. Amen. They just kind of hold their head back, you know, amen to God. But that's all right, though, because if they're allowed to send it old perverted garbage for the devil, I'm allowed to speak for Jesus, amen to God. And that's what I'm going to do, amen to God, because that's my platform God has given me, praise God, around them 13 individuals, hallelujah to God. But they come to you, though, behind the scenes when they need prayer. Come on, amen. Hallelujah, come up. they got the whole, hey, hey, brother. Your brother, them, they need you to pray for them. Uh -huh. You think you could you could offer a prayer to the big guy? I said, what big guy? <laughs> yeah. The man upstairs, I said, is there somebody upstairs? <laughs> and they're just looking at me like I'm half nuts. Because my Jesus don't live upstairs, he lives in my heart. Come on. Amen. Come on now. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And they're like, you know what I'm talking about. I said, no, not really. You're talking about big man, the man upstairs? You're like, I want him to say the, the Lord. You know, to that God you serve. I said, well, he's got a name. Okay, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm telling you, though, they'll come to you, praise God. They'll laugh.